Guess who's on holidays? Yeah, me. And what better way to celebrate than with the release of Dark Souls 3 here in Australia? That's right. Now, I really wanted the collector's edition of this game, but uh, <laughs> I missed out. It's not cheap, it's sold out super fast, but luckily, a mate to the name of Josh, who just lives about 10 minutes away from me, he just picked it up. We're gonna go do an unboxing video at his place, so it should be good. Now, I'm just preparing myself, I've got camera, tripod, uh, I've got pretty much everything I need, so I'm gonna head off into the car, and we'll be on our way. So I'll see you all in the next bit. Alright folks, I am here. I'm gonna bring all my stuff inside and we'll get this unboxing on the way. Say hello. You're as excited as I am? Oh yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. All good my dude, and the appreciation of gaming. Yeah, uh, do you wanna give me a hand and we'll grab yeah, all this sure. shit out? It's just the tripods. I've been itching, it's still sitting in the bag. <laughs> I like your shirt. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Welcome to the pad. <laughs> I love it. Cheers, Sixty-four. I, oh my god, I gotta film all this. <laughs> Mario Party. Never traded in a game ever. Definitely don't. You got some classics. You got the NES. Oh. I got two of them. Yeah. Oh, oh Battle Toads. Yeah, dude. PS One, PS Two, SNES, GameCube. Jesus, man. That's awesome. Got a couple of drawers full of more stuff there. Just got like boxes of just old handhelds, like. Going back from Commodore 64 and stuff like that. Yeah, that's heaps cool. Yeah, man. Just gonna organise it sometime. So you're like me, you're into retro and then the oh, new yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, I can yeah. see here's the uh, <laughs> the box. Yeah, I've still got the old setup from Dark Souls 2 sitting up there. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Anyway, guys, we're gonna settle this up and we shall do the unboxing video. All right, we're set up. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, <laughs> that's a fairly large box, isn't it? Yeah, funny enough, like when they actually gave it to me, I was assuming they were just going to give me the, you know, the original casing and whatnot, but it actually is coming like a big proper package. Yeah. All right. Using your hands on this one? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I'm not usually one for knives and things like that, just because I'm a bit. You know, hesitant if I slip. If you go, or you go straight through like that and you end up cutting the actual uh, That's it. Box. You know, I used to work quite a bit of night shifts at Woolies and you just learn from these mistakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Four. Oh, First look, that. look, look at that. <laughs> That's that beautiful. beautiful. Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition. Best RPG, it says. They got a little sticker there. MA15 Plus, Xbox One version. Neat. Yeah, give a look at that. Oh, look at that. Embrace the darkness. Oh, cool. So it also comes with Dark Souls 1 for the full game. Full game download included. Nice. That's cool. Good, so they can Interesting. Yeah, yeah, they can experience the first one, which I, in my opinion was the better of the games. Yeah. But yeah, true. Alright. So you've like played all of them? Yeah, yeah. Nah, Soul Series is definitely up there in my all-time favourites. Very yeah. hard though. Yeah, you that's raced true. Before? Oh to say the least, you know, maybe a couple of times I may have lost a few <laughs> controllers. You know, over the, the couple thousand hours I might have sunk into it. <laughs> this is actually the first Xbox thing I've had on my channel. Oh, true. <laughs> well, there you go. It's a, yeah. it's a good game to christen it with, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've sweet. been meaning to get into, like, Xbox and stuff, but it's been primarily, like, Nintendo. Yeah, no, nah, Nintendo, it's, it's kind of hard to branch away when there's been so many good games as a kid, you know? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's just that childhood thing. It was, it was a bit funny transitioning from PS2 to Xbox, to be honest. It was... Yeah, 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 it would have been. I mean, I had a PS2 and uh, a GameCube. I was primarily on the GameCube a lot. 
But uh, yeah, uh, I have an Xbox, but yeah. and a 360. They just don't get as much love. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You can, it's always time to give them a bit more loving. Yeah, that's it. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do first. Ooh. Oh. It's the art book. Dark Souls, the art of the trilogy. Neat. You wanna look at that one? That's got a nice texture. Yeah, it does. It feels like scales. It actually feels like some scales on there. It puts some effort into it. I'm glad that it's not, you know, it's not cheap makeshift. That new book smell. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Bosses. It's got the bosses and everything. It's got some gorgeous bloody art, doesn't it? Look oh, at that's that. the Japanese for you. They make amazing games, you know. Mm. Oh, gosh. You could be looking at that for hours. Yeah, you're not wrong. Cool. Alright, let's see what else we've got here. Now, so this was like 250? 250. Uh, it was about 230. Oh, I've got the receipt somewhere actually. I could <laughs> probably pull it out and have a gander. Uh, actually, it was only 220, surprisingly. That's, That's not, not too bad. bad. Yeah. yeah. Considering the original one, which I bought, was only 170. 170 was for the. Um, for number two, mm. so they've, they've, they've jumped the price up a bit, so <laughs> not that I really mind. Nah, you still buy it, aren't you? And they sold out like super fast. They did. Check that there. So this is the uh, statue. This is the That's red big. This is the red knight, from what I've read. Um, it's as far as I know so far. I haven't really wanted to look into it and ruin it for me, but mm. yeah, there was. Um, Do you know how many inches that is, or for half? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, 25 centimeter red knight figurine, yeah. 25 centimeter, nice. That's pretty solid ruler length. Alright, nice. This has been out in Japan, I think, for about two weeks or so. Yeah, um, it has. I've been watching, like, I was went on Twitch the other day. Yeah, I was, you know, I, was sure. I saw people were twitching it, and I was like, is there, has there been an open beta or something like that, or <laughs> early release? Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. What's the weight like? It's actually pretty darn good. Like, it's it's yeah. got a bit of weight behind it. Oh, it does. It's got some pretty nice colours in it. Like, it's not cheap. Yeah. That's for sure. It's actually... Oh, I feel it might be heavier than the, the previous one I had, to be honest. That's awesome. I'll bring yeah. that in closer. Very badass. It's got, yeah. like, a uh, nice finish on the bottom there. Felt. Bandai Namco Entertainment from software. Dark Souls 3. That's really cool. Right. So we got some uh, swords there, do we? Yeah, we got the swords. Um, I assume it was like, oh, these ones just clip on. With the original one, you had to take the bottom of the sword off, slide it in, and connect it on. You can try and put those ones on if you want. Cool. I'm not sure whether they have a left or a right. They look like they require a bit of force to go in. I don't That's want right. to break I'll, it. I'll be the I'll be the force one about this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look. See, is it one of these ones? It might be one where you just squeeze it through, maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's got a bit of flexibility. I actually think it's. Or do you think that comes off? I'm fairly sure it might come off. No, I'm thinking I'll just have a look into that later, just to you know. You get the idea anyway. We get the general idea. You know, swing. <laughs> Looks cool. real good though, real, real happy with it. Mm. I like it. they've actually got the Dark Souls, you know, sign there. Actually, I'll just grab bring the other, the other one. Sake. I'll bring the other one down. Dark Souls 2. This one, see, it was just like, you know, wasn't as much weight in it. It's still nice, still really oh, nice. Oh yeah, that one is a lot lighter, isn't it? This one's, you can feel the weight. I feel like they might have used polystone for this one. Because mm. that's what they've, they've done with a lot of um, figurines these days. It's all polystone and stuff. This one, you know, it's a bit more plastic, as you can tell. It's still nice. Yeah. Well, I think they've definitely uh, learnt from the past and done one up. Yeah, no. It's... They look great together, though. Look they at that. They do. I, I've actually been really excited. It's one of those things I've just wanted them to sit right next to each <laughs> other, you know? Yeah, that's sick. There's still some more stuff in the box, yeah. too, I've seen. That's right. We've got... It never ends. It just doesn't end. I've been amped up about this. I've got um, the original Dark Souls 2 map as well, which I assume this is the third one. It's a bit upset because they never really had a special edition for the, uh, the Dark Souls 1. Mm. Like, it would be nice to have all three, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is nice. This is, <laughs> this is a nice change compared to the other one. 
That's like a cloth map, is it? Yeah, it's, I like how they've like frayed the edges as well. It's very old, doesn't it? It does. That's cool. Do you know, I'm actually gonna grab out the old one. That was a good save. Yeah. <laughs> Just compare the difference between these two. Oh yeah, nice. We're old... going all out here, folks. Yeah, we might as well do a comparison <laughs> compared to the the second one. This one was the one previously. Oh, it's tiny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's tiny. It's just it's like... It's not ripped or anything. It's just like a... Makeshift, you know. It's still nice. It's still got that good fabric, but... That's even got, like, stains on it. Oh, I know. You see that? That's so cool. They've actually outdone themselves in comparison, you know? Mm. I'm actually really pleased with it. Like, you know, the statue's better. Map's better so far. And um, from what I've heard of this game, it, uh, it got a 9.5. <sighs> it, it got a 9.5. That's incredible. Yeah, the <laughs> thing is, like, it's funny when... You know, you have like multiple games in a series and they kind of just, you know, die off over time. You know, they kind of just lose their touch. But from what I've read, apparently it's, getting better. It's, back, it's back to its roots, number one. And everyone is absolutely amped for it. Yeah. I'm amped for it, dude. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> That's cool. Bam. And the back's just playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. I'm stoked with it, to be honest. That is really nice. This is though. something I reckon I yeah. might frame, to be honest. Like, get a nice frame. I always wanted to do it with this one, but it's just... That would look really cool frame, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. I mean, that's badass. Yeah. Can Sick. you imagine that? Like, each of these framed with the, you know, the statue underneath them? Yeah. Right, move this one out of the way. Oh, there's still more there's stuff still in the box. There's still more stuff in it, you know? <laughs> Alright, this is... I've been real excited for this. Oh, yeah. This is the Dark Souls case. It's, it's metal. Embossed. Real nice metal. Mm, that's nice. Mm, I really like. I always that. like steel books. There's yeah. something about them, isn't there? It's Look just so something so much better. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, how are they done with this? Oh, cool. So in here, I've got my Dark Souls. Dark oh, Souls. it's for Xbox One as well. Plays on Xbox Plays One. Plays on Xbox One. This is one thing I've been wanting for a long time. Like. Mm. Because a lot of people, you know, they feel deterred to go back and play Dark Souls again, like the first one. A lot of them started at number two. Mm. But now this gives, you know, them a reason to just pick up the Xbox One and play it. This was a beautiful game. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. What have we got here? Exclusive uh, designs of your favourite games. Oh, true. So there's... Oh, Official yeah. Official store, is that some advertisement? Uh, yeah, it's, um, they've got some merch online, like... Um, I wasn't too excited. Keep calm and carry on. Never trust the chest. <laughs> Funny enough, they um, Bandai yeah. and all that announced that they were going to have a big, you know, big announcement, and they um, everyone was real stoked for it. And then what they did is they released all this really terrible merch, actually. And every <laughs> actually, there's a big outrage about it at the moment. Wow, yeah, really? <laughs> everyone was really furious because you know they thought they were going to get some really good merch, but it got some something to, that crap. appeals to the public more than you know. I think they're just the hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. So is that a uh, soundtrack in there as well? Yeah, they've got the soundtrack in it, which is really good. Like nice. All the, all the Dark Souls tracks are really great. Like, it's something you can actually sit down and listen to, funny enough. Yeah. Really well orchestrated. That's sick. And then, oh, right. We've got some badges, some iron-on ones. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. I've actually even considered getting a tattoo of that, I'm not even joking. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favourite sayings, like, if you follow the series, you know how much Night Solaire, yeah. how important he is to it. <laughs> uh, so we got Praise the Sun, we've got Taste of Life, which is pretty cool with the Estus Flask, and we've got a bonfire, kindled bonfire. Very nice. They look cool, don't they? Lucky last, got myself Dark Souls Season Pass and Starter Guide. <laughs> oh, true! So they've actually funny that they've got um all, all your starter classes and things like that. So now they've actually um, instead of throwing you in the deep end, they've actually got assistance. You know, mm. in the original like you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Yeah. And that's the beauty behind Dark Souls is like you are on your own. There's no pause button. There's yeah. no map. There's nothing telling you where to go. You've just got to pick up from the environment, the yeah. lore, every item's description, and you know, make what you can of it. You can have a look at that one there. Jeez. Season pass available now. Yeah, that's cool. Little primer starter guide. I really like that. You know, nice it's, little touch. 
I've heard the difficulty of this game is quite up there. So I think it's my. I think it might be mandatory to have something like this now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's it. The box is literally empty. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied, to be honest. Very nice. Yeah. So that's that. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Follow me on social media. I'll put all the good stuff in the description. And yeah. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. That was incredible. That just took a turn that I did not expect. <laughs> but I did it. I did it first shot and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. One down, goodness knows how many to go. Let's see, I got a beautiful sword from that, I assume. Nope, I just got a uh, item. 